11 times me deleting all the voiceovers and doing them again that's why it takes like one one month or two months to make a youtube video so number one i'm going to show you some relatable stuff number two i'm going to show you how to make timetables number three i'm going to show you my books i'm a reader you know <laughs> number four i'm going to show you my boring skincare not actually boring it's medicated bro it's not just any skincare how people normally underline all straight and smooth versus how freaking underline all curvy and mountainous everyone's taking off clothes versus mine yeah half and half out okay so i wanted to make a star like that so bad when i was small and i could not make it but uh, now i can okay so like whenever i clean my bag i get some old very old six months ago or two months ago paperwork like circulars of circulars and tables or test papers or washes whatever and some garbage like why would you not get garbage when you like clean your bag like once a year or twice a year and some very old stationery you had hated sarah for not returning but she had actually returned you and now you feel sorry for her but you actually feel very nostalgic too because it brings back memory of your ex-best friend and you're angry when i had newly started using a scientific calculator i used to show my friends and everyone that i could write things on the calculator and when i showed it when i was in seventh grade everyone was laughing at me Okay, so actually I love to make timetables. I'm always making timetables. Timetables are life. No. Yeah. But I cannot follow them. I suck at following them. I never follow them. So that kind of really sucks and like I go in depression every now and then. So let me tell you what's wrong with me. Actually people like you and me, we cannot we do not care about 15 minutes and 30 minutes. Like we don't care if we are 15 minutes or 30 minutes late and if we make timetables that are very precise like 10 15 to 2 15 and this sort of timetable so we can never follow them because we never care about 15 minutes or 30 minutes and like we procrastinate a lot so we have to make it in blocks like 2 to 4 four to eight days for and like that will be easy to know. follow and make sure you not change your timetable every now and then because like make it perfect once you make it make it perfect and like follow it as long as you can so that it becomes your habit and you get used to it and it's like you don't have to look at your timetable every now and then to see what's next okay so by looking at the all these novels you might be like whoa you are such a book person actually i'm not such a book person i am but i'm not So, number 1, we have these Horrid Henrys. I love Horrid Henry. Uh, that's kind of childish, but I love them. I don't know. Hunger Games, the first thing series. Me before you, amazing. After you, boring. David Copperfield, Charles Dickens, masterpiece. I don't really like it. It's depressing. Divergent series, I love it, but Trish dies. <laughs> that's awful. Colleen Hoover is amazing. Okay, so like I've started reading them just now like a month ago and they're very, very engaging. They're amazing actually. I have read Slammed the first part. 13 reasons why no uh, like of course you know about that. The book is really boring. Like very boring. Harry Potter, I don't need to tell you anything about that. Percy Jackson series. Amazing novel. Actually, I've not read that. It's my sister's Heroes of Olympus same. Everyone has this book but has never read it because it's too boring. Same here. This is Black Beauty, a classic book. I love this book. Uh, the print page fall off. If you are looking for any like motivational books, this is Dale Carnegie. My mother loves Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie's books actually, and these are from her too. I've not read them, but she loves them. It means like they must be nice. Guess what? Let me tell you what's my favorite productive book of all times. It is Rich Dad Poor Dad. It likes it. It tells you about finances and stuff. Even if you're seven years old, you need to read it. You need to know what are finances, what are what is money. You need to know that. My favorite thing about this book is that it's not boring like Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and other motivational books like that. It's not something like that. It actually makes you feel productive. It makes you feel that you know something important, that you know something you should have known. So before I actually show you my skincare products, I must tell you that my mom is a dermatologist and these are all medicated. Like these are not branded and Because stuff. Because my mom is a dermatologist and she buys everything medicated okay and that's why you cannot even read these long scientific names and i can because i'm the daughter of dermatologist and i know everything about dermatology just kidding so let me show you the first thing this is a uh, body lotion i don't use it and so if you're thinking i said and body lotion and not a body lotion you know what i don't give a damn english normal language anyways and it's two in the morning right now and i'm not gonna do my voiceovers again 
know anything about it. This is the acne face wash. Kind of sucks. Makes my skin very dry. This is a scrub which has too much liquid and very less particles. Also sucks. But I still use it because I don't have a good one. This... What am I doing? Okay, this is an oily moisturizer. I love it for like nowadays because it's very dry nowadays. Uh, so this lotion is Lectica. Okay, yeah, Lectica. I have I use it only once. My mommy is always saying to me, asking me to use it. You know, it's like extra lotion. It's not use lotion. It's like it's for when there is discoloration in your elbows and knees, like they get dark because it's very dry. And this is my daily moisturizer. I use this even to see an amazing sort of moisturizer. I use this first, the oily one, and then even tone C. Uh, yeah, daily products. These are jumble mine. words for you, everyone. Daily products. These are my. And this, I've never even unboxed it. I never use it. I've never seen how it looks like without a box. I've never used it. This is, you know, steroids. No, these are, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, these are for, you know, discolorations on your foot and stuff when you get um, scars and stuff on your, every, like, on f when you're rough and tough like me. So, I've never used it once this is a sunblock this is a freaking sunblock uh i've used it once or twice when it didn't have a moisturizer i didn't use it for like going out this is for effectile these are like for his skin hair and nails like you can see it on the on the box my mom is always asking me to eat it but like i always forget to eat it it's like for a month for one one month they've got like 30 capsules and you have to eat one capsule a day like i've only eaten two so that kind of sucks, but I don't give a damn. Uh, so that's my boring skincare. He, ride, he was out of breath, but he kept on dancing all night. You try and admit, but you just can't fight the feeling inside. You know it, and I can see it in your eyes. You and me, you smooth as.